we have a little trail horse here that got wrapped up in some barbed wire and he cut his leg pretty well and while the cuts have healed pretty well what we're still dealing with is right here this is the superficial digital flexor tendon it actually got cut with by the barbed wire and got pretty infected it started to necrose now the tendon is starting to heal itself uh, but we're trying to prevent adhesions so if the tendon develops adhesions that's really going to limit his mobility and his serviceability not to mention his uh, comfort level so what we're going to do here for the next seven days is treat it with a laser touch one and see if we can um, uh, reoxygenate uh, the tissue here and prevent those adhesions from for forming and also uh, accelerate the healing process. You can see, I mean, this is uh, incredibly painful. So hopefully by the time we're done, we will have reduced the pain just a little bit. see after several minutes of treatment he's definitely more tolerant of the treatment. And this is a very painful injury here so we just have to use a little time and patience to get him through it. So it's been seven days since we started the treatments on this tendon injury. Joan here has been treating the mare uh, once to twice a day for about 10 minutes each session and on the first uh, First sight, it definitely looks as if we have a significant reduction in swell on the lateral and on the medial side. We still see a pretty huge bump here uh, from the tendon. Uh, and that actually takes months to repair. So the fact that we got that much uh, reduction in swell uh, is pretty significant. Uh, considering the swell would impede the healing process on the tendon. So we're de definitely making some, some, some headways here. So we'll see how we do on the pain threshold here when we start up our session here to last week, which was pretty difficult in the beginning to get her to stand still for the, for the treatment. I'd say that's pretty much improvement. So, I mean, this is pretty remarkable, you know, that she's standing still and allowing me to go all over the wound. So I've got the stem turned up, but I'm not really sure, you know, how much it is. So we'll just see, you know, um, how much uh, current she's able to tolerate. I'll just put it on my hand. Oh, dear. So she's <laughs> tolerating a pretty, pretty good amount of current there, um, which is, uh, we don't, we ought to get some flash spray for her, but, um, this is pretty remarkable. So we have pretty significant pain reduction on the lateral side. Let's see what happens when I go to apply on the medial side. I am going to turn the current down a little bit and build it back up. So after a week of treatment, you can see that she's definitely more bright-eyed and, and, and happier and hopefully feeling a little bit better. And only time will tell with the tendon, but the swell and the pain threshold have definitely reduced. So it's been two weeks that we've been treating the mare. And uh, Richard here brought her home on Sunday so that he could monitor the therapy. And we were just amazed when we walked up to see. Virtually almost all the swell is down, both medially and laterally. The, the bump back here that was so enormous has decreased by about 60%, I'd say. And if you remember uh, on the shots before, that necro necrotic tendon was actually protruding through the wound. Get a close-up of that, of that wound there. Let me get out of the way. Get a close-up of that wound, and you can see how well it's healing there. So, I'm pretty pleased. So, after, you know, dealing two weeks ago with a pretty nasty-looking uh, injury with no improvement over the previous few weeks, looks like the laser's done a pretty good job. So, we're all happy.